Hi, welcome to Tips and Tools for Dealing with Disruptive Behavior. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. This is the monthly e-newsletter that I send out to help you manage disruptive behavior. If you are a continuing subscriber, hey, how you doing? I'm glad that you continue to watch these tips and tools. I hope they are helpful to you. Uh, my name is Dacia Moore, President of Second Wind Counseling and Consulting, author of the book, Why Are So Many Students So Angry?, and the popular Successful Choices Anger Management series. Today I want to talk to you about bullying behavior. All right, so the second strategy kind of goes along with this particular activity, and it's called the five people you admire. Now, I did this activity years ago when I went to a workshop, and I found it to be powerful. And uh, here's how it goes. It's very simple. And I had these ladies at Awesome Ambition do, do this workshop, I mean, do this activity, and they loved it. Okay, so here's what you do. Now, you can do this in a group, like if you're doing an um, assertive communication group. Uh, if you're doing an anger management group, if, and you could do this in your classroom. I think it's powerful for children and adults alike. So you could do this, you know, just in your teacher's lounge or wherever. But, okay, you sit down. Everybody sits down. They have a piece of paper, just a piece of notebook paper. It doesn't matter. And, okay, so I'll take a piece of paper. And what I want you to do is give me the name of five people. So, and make sure there's some spaces in between each person. So one, two, three, four, five. Give me the names of five people you admire. List five people you admire. The people can be alive or dead. They can be um, somebody you know or don't know. But it has to be somebody you admire. Don't just use, you know, I, I admire Jesus Christ, although I do. I mean, make it make it somebody that's meaningful to you. It's not going to work if it's just flip and somebody does it and is, isn't, not, isn't really um, thinking it through and doesn't uh, select somebody who's meaningful to them. All right, so you pick five people you admire. That's the name of this activity, five people you admire. And they have to be people you admire. Okay? My spelling sometimes. Sorry about that. Okay, five people you admire. Now, so you write down the names of the people. Okay? Then the next step, list five qualities or characteristics about each of those people that you admire. Now, one of my, the people that I admire, I've always loved her. Her name is Zalima Harris. She was the president of Penn Valley Community College. And so she was one of my five people. And the thing I loved about her is she was poised. And she was very diplomatic. And there were several other things that I liked about her. She held it together in meetings. She was always very poised in meetings and very um, kind of, she sat in a very, in con I'm in control, I know what I'm talking about manner. So you take these people and for each person you list five characteristics that you like about them. And then what you have the young person do is, okay, take the top two qualities that you want to work on this year. All right. So let's say I want to be more poised, which is always a good thing for ladies. And let's say I want to be more assertive because you know that's an issue with targets. Oftentimes they are targets because they're a little bit more passive, they're quiet, uh, they're not very good at standing up for themselves. That's generally why the bully selects them. So assertiveness is certainly a good thing to work on with a target. So have them pick two things that they want to work on. And the beauty of this exercise is twofold. Number one, now you have a treatment, treatment plan to help them work on being more poised and being more assertive. 
But the other thing, which I think is even more powerful, is that they have a model in their mind of who they want to become. You see, part of the struggle with a target is they begin to feel hopeless, like my life is always going to be this way, people are always going to treat me this way, I'm always going to feel bad. And they begin to lose hope that things are ever going to change. Now, as adults, we know things are going to change, but they don't know that. So this activity, in my opinion, helps them to look forward, to have hope that if Dr. Harris or my Aunt Jane is like this, maybe I can become like that as well. Now, it may sound simple, but it is shifting their thinking to somebody that they admire. That's why it has to be somebody that they truly admire. Because you want to help them along the path of moving in the direction and developing the qualities of this person that they admire. Now let me tell you a quick story. I had a client, uh, I guess it was last year, and this is exactly the activity that I used with her. Her issue wasn't bullying. She was a young adult. Her issue was she had been in a um, domestic violence relationship for quite a while, and she felt that she had lost herself. And she didn't know who she was. And so I did this activity with her. Five people you admire. She listed the five people. She listed two or three qualities that she liked about, um, that she wanted to work on. And then we, she actually came up with a town, the name of a town in her mind that was the place where she would arrive and feel stronger about herself. That was kind of like her ultimate destination where when she was stronger, when she found herself, she would arrive at this town. So our journey was from where she was at this point where, you know, she felt like she didn't know who she was, but she had in her mind's eye this town. And when she reached that town, she would be this person who was assertive, who had it going on, who wouldn't allow men to be disrespectful to her anymore. So she had in her mind the person that she wanted to become. Now, initially, it was a little bit difficult, but you can imagine after being emotionally abused for over 10 years, she was coming from a very deficit position. That's what our targets are coming from as well. So if you can help them think about the person they want to become and then help them move in that direction, that will give them hope. And that is exactly what they need.